Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news, or the bad news? I think we could all use some good news. Good news is, the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty, and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's... Actually, not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So... It's decided then? We're going to Crawford? How do we even know where they store their supplies? I used to watch them from one of the bell towers just outside the perimeter. I've seen them carrying all kinds of stuff into that old Catholic school off the town square. I think they're using it as some kind of supply depot. There's a good chance we'll find what we need in there. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what gonna be dangerous? Crawford... I can't lie to you, Clem. I just don't know. I don't want anyone else to die. No one else is gonna die. I promise. You can't promise that. No, I guess I can't. Sorry. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? I don't think I'll find them in Crawford, Sweet Pea. Why not? Because they're good people. And Crawford is a bad place run by bad people. I don't think they would have stayed in a place like that. 
How do you know they're good if you've never met them? Well, they raised you, didn't they? Can't I come with you? Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Molly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Can't get a good look above with the cover on. Let's go. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one. Over there, by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. What the fuck?! <laughs> There's a walker doing inside here. Get inside, fast! 
Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. No power, no TV. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? No homework. 
Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't think anyone knows the answer to that, Clem. Maybe there's somebody out there working on a way to fix this. Some kind of cure, maybe. There's just no way to know. I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Creepy. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. No power, no TV. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? You're plenty useful. Huh, <laughs> yeah, right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. This must be the way to the playground, where Bree said the fuel was being stored. Hasn't been much time yet. I better let Bree and Kenny do their thing. Shell casing's all over. Whatever happened here, wasn't good. I've already been fired. They're worthless. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. combination to any of these. Can't open it without the combination. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry.
This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Auto shop must be down this way. be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Damn, it's jammed tight. <laughs> Better not get too close. He's mine. What were you doing up there? <laughs> Molly? <laughs> Molly! What? What the hell do you think you're doing? It's dead already. I think you can lay off. Don't tell me what to do. You kill geeks your way, I'll kill him mine. Damn. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Looks like Crawford already used this battery for something else. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. It's locked. No way in. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with.
Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? Nah, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. It's still attached to the terminals. It's still attached to the terminals. It's off. Got that one off! Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass! Great, now what? Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it... Locked. I uh, didn't need to use a bathroom. Can't open it without the combination. Give them a little more time.
Did any of the others come back yet? No, you're the first. You might want to go check on them, see if they need any help. Sure thing. You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Give them a little more time. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. This place definitely has some major damage. Can't reach it. It's too high up. Going back out there unless I have a damn good reason. I'll give them a little more time. Nothing in there.
How are things going with that door? Slowly but surely. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Uh, the fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. If we're gonna find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. Bree said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. Shell casings all over. Whatever happened here, it wasn't good. each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's the hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. 
I'll be back. Got some things to do. Good luck. Hey, I... I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery, or help with the medicine. The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? The way this camera's set up, it looks like it would have had a pretty good view of that keypad. I wonder if it caught someone punching it in. Empty. Figures. The tape's gotta be around here somewhere. Keep looking. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Can 
open it without the combination. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on! There's gotta be a way out down here! <laughs> Fuck! That's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee! Look! It's all right, Clint. I'm fine. Any way out of here? 
This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Ben, come on, let's go! Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Uh. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. She'll be okay. I know it's tough on her now, but she'll understand. I did what I had to. She will understand, right? She's gonna have to if she's gonna make it in this world the way it is now. No easy decisions anymore. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Please, save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen. No, you listen. You got some good people here and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us, 
Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course. Take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You chose to let that boy die back in Crawford. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? We'll go wherever Kenny says. He's a good captain, and he knows the water's down south. He'll know where to take us. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did. And that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem. But I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Clementine? 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 Clementine! Oh, God.
Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Bitch! Hello, Lee. Who is this? It's 
not burn it if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully.